All right, there, guys. Jay here, and in this gameplay, it was just a gameplay with the peacekeeper. I nearly get like two V sats, but that's not what I want to talk about today. I've just watched a video from Outback Zach. If you don't know him, then go check him out. I'll leave a, a link in the description, and I'll leave a link in the description to the video I'm talking about today. And I've been subscribed to Zach for probably years now, possibly like two years, ever since I first got onto YouTube and first found his channel. He's an absolutely amazing guy, and the stuff he says can be like really inspiring and actually meaningful. And just that's. As proof, this is why I'm making this video because it's like an inspirational sort of thing. Just a little montage moment right there. But yeah, guys, just this video that I've just watched, it's absolutely amazing by the way he presents himself and the way he actually manages to talk about YouTube networks being absolute bullshit and by standing by his own word. So, what Zach's been talking about is YouTube networks such as Machinima and Maker Studios being absolute bastards and cutting pay cuts and stuff taking advantage of us content creators that actually make the content for their channels for them to gain money and subscriptions, views and all that stuff just they, so they can run their business so what they're basically doing here is they're just screwing over their like actual content creators, their partners, their directors and all that sort of shit like in the past few weeks you've been you've probably heard a lot of news about machinima being absolute dicks cutting pay from people a hell of a lot of partners have been leaving machinima just like pewdiepie i think he's left machinima now ipawn staff i hire he's left this is too big of a list to actually go through and i don't even know half of them that have actually left so that just means something because i watch a hell of a lot of um, like Call of Duty videos, gaming videos and all that stuff so a lot of people have been leaving actual machinima if you, if you, well you probably will know Ray William Johnson even if you are subscribed to him you've probably seen one of his videos he's one of the, he's probably the most successful YouTuber there is and he was like the first YouTuber to become a millionaire or something like that as I've read well he, he was actually somewhat partnered with Maker, he was partnered with Maker Studios. He actually worked with them like in real life and all that stuff. It wasn't just over the internet, and he worked with their production teams and all that stuff just to try and get his channel more advanced. Like with the animations that he ended up having, that was by the help of Maker Studios. But the thing is, though, they actually sent him a message about a contract renewal or something like that. Like they had to change the contract with him. And what, from watching, well, actually reading the tweets and stuff like that, or the messages sent between Ray and Baker Studios, he made a video on this. From actually reading them, it was something like Maker Studios basically wanted to own Ray's channel, like fully get all rights to his channel, and so they could do whatever the hell they wanted with it, and to have full rights to his content. Well, his content started from him just putting the camera in front of his face and making videos about funny videos that are already on the internet or seen on TV or whatever like that. And that's all like what Outback Zach did. In his video, he mentioned he started from a trailer with a camera in a medicine cabinet just talking in the bathroom. I think he actually lived with his grandma as well. So, from... That's basically from being nothing to being a successful YouTuber. He's done it all himself, and so has Ray. They've just created content for years now that have inspired many, entertained many, and being actual factual and all that stuff. God, that sounded weird, actual factual. But yeah, I know this isn't like an actual vlog like them two guys do, because I'm a Call of Duty commentator. I prefer to do this. I haven't got much experience in doing vlogs. I may do them in the future if you guys actually want me to do vlogs. If you do, then leave a comment and I will be sure to do them. If I don't sound the best, it's because I've only just got up. It's like 20 past 11 here in the UK and I go up at half 10 because I'm a lazy twat. Plus, I didn't have college today because of snow, which is absolutely boost. So, I day have college, which is, allows me to create more content for you guys. So, yeah guys, if you want to go check out Outback Zach's video on this, basically titled about you, YouTube networks being bullshit, I will leave a link in the description, I will spam that bastard 
in the description I'll even leave a comment just so make sure you see it so once you go over there just to show your like support and stuff like that if you actually watch the entire video you know it's not a boring video because it's really informative and really passionate by him so you shouldn't have trouble watching it all but if you actually watch it all and listen to every single word he says it's amazing plus like just to show you the support go leave him a like share it on facebook share it on twitter share it on reddit share it everywhere anywhere fucking tell your friends tell your grandma and all that crap and just show your support with like because it's not just to support Outbacks, like it's to support us YouTube content creators. No matter what we do, I do Call of Duty com commentaries. Some people do League of Legends commentaries. Some people do zombies videos. Some people do vlogs. Some people do trolling videos. Some people do random Minecraft dancing videos and all that shit and whatever the fuck this Harlem shit crap is. It's proper weird. But it's like the next Gangnam style for some reason, I don't know. But yeah, all these random shit <laughs> that are actually on YouTube, that's just brought me onto it. Some random, absolute, nutcase shit that is on YouTube be can become so popular because that's just what people like. Gangnam style. I know he's a sort of professional dude and making his own songs and his own videos and shit like that. But I think he had like, what? maybe five million views on it and then it just went fucking viral everywhere in the world now he's got his own fucking I think he's even got his own clothing brand because I've seen Gangnam style t-shirts and jumpers and stuff in shops he's got himself on the radio he's made millions off that song just because of YouTube that just shows how big YouTube can be a deal to someone's life and I know I've mentioned this in another video about YouTube changing lives. I'll also leave that on an annotation or something or in the description. I'll probably leave it as a video response. But YouTube can change a hell of a lot of lives and then there's these networks coming along promising you a better CPM which is like a payment per month slash views, whatever. I don't know. I've never been partnered so I wouldn't know. But from people that have been partnered, all I've heard is a load of bullshit really about networks trying to control your channel, giving you these high CPMs and taking over your Google AdSense account which pays more and shit like that. They're promising you to m that they will give you more money for the content you create when really it's a load of bullshit because they can't even handle their own business. If they're willing to partner and make people directors and all that shit and support their content then they should be willing and able to support their own business even their like partners and subscribers and stuff they should be able to support them as well if they're being such a big mis business like Machinima is with shit loads of subscribers I think it's like five to seven million subscribers I don't know I ain't checked but if they've got all that and people can just make a living off like as Outback Zach says in the video he says he makes he can make a living and a variety of YouTube channels from five, five grand from YouTube money and make successful channels that have got proper branding and all that shit and can create really good content well if he can do that individually with possibly a few friends and other YouTubers then I think a business that has been running for years should be able to do that because they've got a load of employees that could possibly help each other to like run the business I don't know but just if <sighs> Outback Zach also said in his video the reason they are failing is because they are not YouTube content creators themselves so that's why it's all fucking up because us YouTube com commentators come from nothing to becoming some of the most successful people in the world well not in the world but really famous but that's all I've got to say guys I know I sort of paused and didn't really know what to say sometimes but if you like this leave a like rate and subscribe for more and comment on what you think also go over to Outback Zach's video and show your support thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later